What is going on, everybody? Your McLaren Speed Shop World Champion coming at you, and we're diving into Reju here, which is my favorite leader of the new set coming. It's uh, the deck overall is a lot of fun. It's a blast to use, and yeah. Also, I got to shout out the boys, Jonsuko and Roker. We've been uh, just kind of brainstorming like ideas and stuff around uh, this. Still early days. This is just my take on things before we super test stuff. But yeah, obviously follow John Suko. He's sick. I'll have his link, like a channel link and stuff in the description. But uh, yeah, overall they're like my favorite people to talk to about this stuff because we're all on the same wavelength, but we have like slightly different like play styles and everything. So it just like, uh, at least for me, just unlocks the other angles and stuff of ways of thinking and looking at things that I personally don't look like am able to see so it's just super helpful to be able to collab and everything and just get a uh, the different opinions and different outlooks and be able to put stuff together but for me right now I am again day one plenty of time to find two stuff so I'm starting out with this and overall this deck is just a blast when you're cooking with it you're just absolutely f frying people is great however it, it does uh, have the the opposite when you're not cooking and you don't it, like you can't get the card draw like set up then you lose it's a uh, i don't know it's fun i feel like uh besides rp law matchup which to be fair i feel like if you run into that matchup like uh it's just unlucky because uh like IRL, nobody's playing RP Law. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> like, uh, it's one of the few people that uh, that play Law. There's like no, I barely know anyone outside of like uh, John Suko, Roker, and the people in the Discord. It's uh, out, out of everyone I know, I'm the only one. And calculating the numbers and stuff from all the recent tournaments and everything, only about like two percent of the player base runs RP Law. And which will definitely spike because RP Law becomes godlike in EBO one, and that means this deck will be unplayable. <laughs> so until well, then, I want to at least play around with this because it's really fun, and I like it a lot. And take advantage while we can because it matches well up against everybody. Like you can beat anybody with this deck, but you can also lose anybody with this deck. That's kind of like the fun thing, which I like a lot. But yeah, diving into everything. Everything runs through the Red Power Ranger uh, Ichiji here. And yeah, have four of each. Because if you're able to get this guy, especially if you go like second, depending on the matchup, some some of them we want to go first though. Like uh, especially against like Yamato. Um, being able to drop this guy and having a like, seven cost, seven K with rush on uh, your second turn is crazy. And there's not really any any decks in the game that can contend with that. And especially if you get more than one, you pretty much win especially if you're able to do it early there's no no one that can keep up with uh, that amount of pressure but besides that I'm running three of the blue ranger three of the pink and then two of the green I uh, was testing without using like Yanji at all but the only reason I have him back is because when you play for judge and drop judge if I don't have a blocker with queen or law set up, not being able to get out a blocker has like cost me a couple of games so far. But if you're able to just get this out for security, especially if you don't have these out, you're pretty much good. Cause you just have to, when you drop judge, normally depending on the situation, you just need to survive the next turn. And then you win the turn after that. Cause you'll have a full board of characters and there's nothing like anyone in the game can do about that. It's just uh, being able to survive that turn has been kind of my only issue with this deck if I play up and get to judge. Besides that, it's pretty much just pumping out uh, whatever combination of the rangers we get. And then I'm running. We got two queen. Queen is huge because queen can come in clutch uh, with the on play ability. It triggers leader ability as well. So you consistently get the draw. And queen, you draw two, trash one, so and you get one of these. So technically, you draw three cards. And then ideally you trash one of the higher ranked uh, the rangers and you don't really have to worry about too much there yeah, so it's super super helpful because uh for me the more cards i can get through the better chances of had against people so that's kind of the whole philosophy then i have a uh, blocker law so this is the the only kind of like different i know some people 
I feel like you can, yeah, talking things over with everybody, you can make a case for this and pudding, but I like law, one, because I already have the card, <laughs> and uh, two, because uh, it's super clutch against yellow and green, because both yellow and green normally want to, like, stock up in their hands so they can stall out, so if you were able to catch them, especially early, you get to trigger your ability, get to draw a card, and you get a block corrupt, and you discard two of the cards from your opponent's hand. So that's been super clutch for me, just again, the yellow matchups like Katakuri, NL, and like Yamato as well. Because normally when you're playing yellow, you attack with the, the leader, or just attack in general. They're going to take the the card, and if they don't get a life trigger, then you can set them up for this, which has been super, super cool. And again, just having the blocker like there for when you need to use it is super helpful uh, for me too. And so yeah, we have uh, this kind of blocker. And then I have two Jet Gatlins for right now, just because uh, the discard, obviously half his deck, you kind of want to discard it into the trash because all of our abilities go from trash or hand. So that's why I have two of these. And it's super, they're clutch as well. I also like this because of the trigger ability because uh, I know you want to be like down on Don, but honestly, depending on who you're playing, the trigger ability isn't that bad because uh, depending on who you're playing in the turn order you only have to use like one minus ability and then you're back to the equal Don that you need to be at with everybody and I like that this too because the bailout of the trigger potentially like late game and stuff too when if you need to get to like the seven or if you need to get to the eight you know like being able to if you hit this somehow in the life it can bring things back that four stages and four search cards just because again for me just being able to just cycle through as much of the deck as possible and get as many cards as possible just how it helps me I've had the a decent amount of success overall with it and yeah overall too you also have Sora 2k so I have Kaya 2k and then double finger is a 2k so we have 10 10 2ks plus the the counter here so use those as counter but this card, Sora, is super clutch because you can also make the plays with this when you need to. Dropping it, discarding a card from your hand, bringing one of the baby rangers back from the trash, and then immediately being able to get them. So that's super, super good. And then Kaya is great early game, too, because, again, draw two trash, too. You draw two, and then ideally, depending on what you get, you just want to pump your trash full of all the the higher form so you can just bring it back at will and then we just want to i just want to be able to draw as many cards as possible that's kind of how i go about all this but yeah this is the early build we'll see how things go um with numbers and stuff and i just want to also just be able to test out all the all the germa characters and see just how they all kind of function together too so learning like all the mechanics with like all of them so we'll see how things develop and how things change throughout the, the process here. But we have plenty of time to be able to test everything out and try new things. Which, uh, yeah, I'm super excited for the new set. Just for everything all around. And, yeah, trying to do a little bit more diverse stuff instead of just doing RP Law. Like, there'll be plenty of RP Law stuff coming out. But uh, we have so many new leaders to be able to dive into and test out. Which I'd like to do. And also mess around with some of our, the older ones too and revamp those. But, yeah day one build Just hop into the games and see what happens all right we got the moira matchup kicking things off they throw down their their trash trash card so we'll drop our stage do this grab this and that'll end our turn so basically they're gonna attack here with one and then rest and then that means they can play like a card from their hand so, I'm going to want to counter out of this. Select a card of trash. Dang it, I have to trash right off the rip. Alright, I'll just trash that. And then, we can take one. Alright. Another double finger, which we do not need. So, I trash that. We'll grab Reiju here. Um, the leaves us with two. So we will attack them seven on five. 
All right, expected out of there. Do this, return one, play that to grab our two there. All right, so we got a green ranger, play some defense and stuff with, and we'll kind of go from there. But yeah, obviously a bit of a tough deck. I expect this one to be one of the top ones just because uh, they're able to do double summons so out of the trash and stuff. And so I, I'm expecting them to do the same thing. And again, find trashing a card if they they do. Yeah, so select one card to trash. Uh, trash this, and then no blocker. I'll counter out of that. And leaves them with two. All right, seven on five. Yeah, we can take that one. All right, we get a blue ranger, which is nice. So grab that. I want to grab our man's here. Um, I have a search, which we may, yeah, let me drop the search here. Um, hmm. Do I want to make the, the judge play? Or do we want to just pump out the board control? Let's just grab judge just for, for funsies. And yeah, I'll deploy this, do that, bring our man here, we'll return that to their hand. That leaves me with one. We have two of these, which will be big for like next turn, but we'll attack them six and five. All right, get them to do that, and then we'll attack them again. All right, get some hand control. That, that card's a 2K counter as well. Dude, that's crazy. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Dang. But see how this goes. Again, I have this right here is the the kind of play thinking about doing. And then we have obviously we have some 2Ks and stuff like that. So they're summoning again here. Trashing. Yeah, trash two. We were pot the top two cards of the deck, my bad. And we'll see what they do. Okay. So attacking, just six on five, block out of that. Then they have four. So yeah, depending on what they do here, um, kind of do a whole bunch of different things. So five on five, no. I'll do where I'm at four. I guess we'll just do this, and then the Borsalino blocker. Okay, I end up massively. We grab this. All right. So it can return that, grab, of course we get the Green Ranger now. Well, I mean, we already had him in there, so I should have not made that play, I guess. Because they could have played two. But, yeah, I guess we're doing this. Turn one, bring our mans in. We'll throw it on Borsalino, so now he's only at four. That leaves me with two. Oh, massive pull, actually. So, kind of loving that. Let's attack that, seven on five. And, yeah, probably don't need Judge now. So we'll kind of work our way around that. Alright, okay, so they do that. I'll attack them six on five. Okay, they take the hit there. We'll attack them five on five. Okay, they do that. Now, what do I want to do here? I could attack there. Get them down. Or do we bring in these guys um I'll just attack if we get a card out of their hand we let's kind of chill okay so I'll do this turn one bring him out alrighty so now we have decent amount of little counter to we have this and this and a two 
but just depends on what they do. They may have the, the Moria play, but if they do that, then they can't do the summon from trash. But I guess Moria summons from trash regardless. But cool thing is, this guy's at 6, this guy's at 7, this guy's at 6. We just kind of maybe need to protect that, because if they do anything massive with Don, uh, most of our board is safe. So, we'll just go from there. Because if I can just wipe their board and then completely limit what they have in hand, then we can blast them for gain. But we'll see. I think we just have to. Uh, we, get, we have like two turns, we kind of got to make it through. So they're attacking five on five. Um. No. And, you know, just block that. kind of figure things out. I'm just going to try to protect board as much as possible here. So, this guy's at 6. And then we do have the 2k if need be if we're if we're going to make that play. So yeah, 5, 6 and 7 and then 6 is what uh our characters are at. And we block the one. So I feel like with them stalling, they do have the the Moira, but if they drop that, that only leaves them with the one, and I can obviously count out, counter out of anything, because I could just go for the game, literally next turn, <laughs> if uh, depending on things. Okay, so this will be big to see what they do here with the the one on. All right, they're attacking me. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna make the play here, just so I can then give my shot like the chance of doing this. Okay, so they're dropping the Moira, Kuzan, and then I don't know what the. Okay, draw a card, draw that. Oh, of course we draw anyways. So. We do this, grab. Um. Yeah, hey, let's grab the Blue Ranger. Because I could just send this out of here. Attack this and this. Leaves me with three. Or. Hmm. If I drop this. We drop this down. He has to block. One, two, three. I'd have to hit four. I mean, not impossible. So why not? Turn one, do this, onto him again. Gives us some more of that. All right, we'll attack him once. Okay, so they take a hit there, which is fine. Um, now I'm gonna attack this. Keep things a little wild and wacky. Because I still have four more attacks. Okay. If if need be. So we'll attack them six and five. The only problem is Sinky Kuzan here. When attacking, like if they have the ca like a ca card to KO on like cost removal, would be not ideal. So attacking in seven on five. Okay, and then I'll attack this five on two. Obviously, they they can block here and then counter out. Okay, they didn't. All right, they didn't see that play. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens. All right, saw that coming. So, they KO this. Again, it depends how much they have left. So, we take two hits. It's just going to depend. I, got, I can't block out of this, though, is the, the issue here. Okay, so if they're... Okay, they're attacking seven on five. 
So what does that leave um, with everything else? So I can go... Mm, if I take this one, they have four left. Okay, we'll take this one. Alright, use the trigger effect. Give us another 1k counter. So I need to block... This one's hitting. I need to be able to block these two. Okay. Um... Alright, see if we can do this. Depends how they divide it up. It's gonna be close. <laughs> so I have five. If they attack with ten, we can block out with this. And then we have these two to block the. Well, this. He's only at five. Because it's only opponent's turn. So they're both at five. So I think we're gonna be okay. Because even if they do 9, I can do this, this, and that leaves me enough to block an 8. Or a 7. So. We'll see. The pressure is on. They're trying to trying to figure it out. This is where I struggle the most, though, too. To be fair. Like, this is, like, the hardest part. When you're going for... Trying to go for, like, the game. And you don't know... Uh, like, how to do the... Sort of, like, the Don math. It's uh, very, very tough. Okay, well, this is a weird one. I'm not gonna lie. So, okay, they just want to attack one and then load it up here. So, no blocker. Two. Bang, bang, bang. I know he is upset. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> I knew we, we had him just based on uh, the math there at the end, but... Yeah, they went for it. I mean, that was a super good game, though, regardless. Like, uh, if things were... They did things a little bit differently, they might have gotten us, but we... Cool thing about running so many, like, defensive-type cards with the 2Ks in this deck is, uh... And, like, the counter here, is you just get the options to be able to set so much stuff up, and... Yeah, we'll take, uh, again, early days, so it doesn't mean a whole lot, because obviously once people get used to things and get things fine-tuned, it'd be a little bit different. Same for us, but... A win is a win, and let's uh, keep moving. All right, we got the the dreaded matchup. <laughs> the, uh, we'll see how this goes. Don't know uh, how this will work out, but also overall, just based on uh, like numbers and stuff, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think that many people. It's not really a big deal. I feel like uh, either way. I don't expect that many people running Law at all because people already don't and then people probably aren't going to be running a Raise You that much either. But we'll see how things go. So 8 on 5, that's fine. We grab that. Alright. Dang, if we could... If I could get this, like the blue Ranger here, that'd be huge. So it's like a card of trash, we'll trash that. Don't get the blue ranger we get the red one which is fine so let me attack them five on five yes, they're sitting at three so we're all right here so they take the the one hit which is pretty big all right turn that into that we can drop it onto him and then attack them seven on five And then, obviously, this guy's going to get bottom deck, which uh, isn't great. I would have loved... If we had the Blue Ranger to pop uh, Max here, then I would have been feeling pretty decent. Alright, but... We have plenty of 2k counter here to kind of play defense. So, we'll go from there. They have to have another Max or Gordon, though. If, uh, to get rid of him. Or they need to play, like, Film Law. But we'll see. Obviously, I'm assuming they do. So, yeah, there's the Gordon. And then uh, see what they play. And then we'll just kind of go from there. It's basically... Uh, we have a bunch of options here. Dropping in Bear Man. I don't know what. They probably should have... Okay, went a different route. Oh, I got Judge which is okay 
Well, let's see what we can get uh, out of the Kaya here. Draw two, trash two. Um, trash this. And this. Doesn't re didn't really help too much there, not gonna lie. Um, so I'm at five, they're at four. So I bring in the Green Ranger. Like, we have that option. So let me trash, uh, this. Oh, okay, cool, we got the Blue Ranger. We got red again, but I don't have... Problem is I don't have, uh, I have them here. So let's grab this. All right, so I could, I want to return, probably, yeah, return Bear Buddy here, because then this gets us back down to, so I'll return that back to their hand. That leaves us with the one, and attack them six on five. So they have to discard, like, yeah, 2k. So it's pretty much, I don't know, if we can outlast their removal, then we'll have a, a chance here. Because they are, they're at six, so even if they go down to three, we're at four, so I can play play around with with all this. So I have another Gordon, which uh, there's two Gordons and a Max. Not great, but it is what it is. All right, so I'll drop him again, which I mean is fine. Okay, they bring in Raju, which is what uh, I'm looking for. Um, no. Just, actually, I can block out. Okay, there we go. And then this one will block out with the uh, this. All right, so we're sitting at six. They're at three. So that's the the issue now. Is being able to bring that back. If I don't, hmm, I'm trying to think. If I survive to next turn, I can play Judge. The problem is I don't have any of the rank ups. I just have these two. So I would super need. to grab one here so I'll trash this all right well we grab that I need red ranger if uh, we're gonna make this work hmm because I could attack here that leaves me with, then with this to like attack them And the next play we drop judge or next turn we drop judge. I don't know. That might be might be the only move here. I'll attack them six on five. We'll see what they do. Alright, the block out of that. Alright. Um it's one, two, three. They're only gonna be there. Alright. Let's uh throw the Don on Kaya here and attack them five on five. Because I, if I play enough defense here and drop judge next turn, we'll be alrighty. And we'll go from there. Because uh, playing at, we'll be at 8. Alright, that's fine. Because now I can super just block out. Because I can use these, all of these as defense right here. And so no, block that. No. Block that. Um, another no. Let's block that. And then another no. Block that. All right. So I'm at eight. We finally get it, this guy. And the problem is they're at three, which is not 
bit of a problem, but not the worst thing. Um, yeah, we'll grab that. So sitting at eight, if I drop Judge, I have to trash two cards from my hand. All right. So we can get down to like kind of close. I just can't attack anybody is the, the problem. And I have to survive five attacks with three. So we'll see what happens. Deploy, return one, trash two cards, this and this. Um, we can bring this in, bring this in, bring this in, and bring this in. So bring all of those. All right. Um. So how do I want to finesse this though? Is the problem. So I can bring in. We got one blocker. Um. I'm still at six. They're at three. Cause I can't do any of our abilities. Cause uh, they have to be like equal or less Don, which is the problem here. But I can go down to. Um, how can I do this? So I'm at six. One, two, one, two, three, and then I can grab this last, potentially. So let me just trash that. Um, do this onto that. I can't use him because of that. And then, what? Are, what's the better play here? To get Reju's cards, probably. To draw two, I guess. Um. Oh yeah, we're now equal. Send target to hand instead of KO. Let's send bear friend there. All right. And then we get two. Get some defense here. And. Just attack here. Alright, so we get them to burn a little bit of counter here. Alright, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> we just gotta survive this turn and we have a chance. So they're attacking 5 on 5. Um, I feel like I should just take the free block here. But I can do... I can just do this. And now if they attack again, then the... Uh... It's pretty much just our, our guy here that holds, uh, holds all the cards. So they're dropping the Shariah blocker. Okay. And Gordon. I mean, this is uh, fine. I can block out all of them. Alright, they drop the boys. It's actually like super fine because I have another red ranger in here. And we're going to be at the four. So. I'll just take that. No blocker. Do that. Um, no. I feel like it doesn't super matter here. Just do that. And so I kind of got to go for it on all in this turn. All right. See what we get here. Ooh, okay. So how do I want to go about this? I bring in Blue Ranger, get this out of here. But then we can attack one, two, three, four, five. Or if I drop this, well, they still block one, so it doesn't super matter. Because if I send this to their hand, that gives them one more, like, the 1k counter. So we would know they'd have that. Um, let's just see what we get here. Alright, well, we got that. So if I drop uh, him, we have a rush. They're going to block one rush. That leaves me with all of these. Or an extra dawn. So an eight, a seven. What's better? They'll block one of these for sure. So let's just lead off seven on five and see what happens. It 
because I may wait to the end if uh, if need be. All right, they take the the hit there. All right. Um, let's do six on five. Okay, so they take the hit there. Um, we can lead one five on five. Okay, so they block that. So now if I return this to their hand and attack, I'd need a six to hit. Or I need a five to kind of hit. Because if I do this, they'd block it. Leaves me here. Then I have to rush. Hmm. <laughs> Kind of the the problem. Um, because what I'm at four, they're at four, so yeah, this doesn't super matter. They have Shariya. I'm trying to think. Send that back to the hand. Leaves me with one. Then a six like has to hit though to be able to finish them. And I know they'd have one. Versus dropping this, rushing, because they can block one either way. All right, so let's just do eight on five. See uh, what they do. But yeah, it doesn't look good. Okay, so they do that. That puts me in the situation where I need uh, a five to hit. So we just gotta do that. Oh, okay. So they take it. All right, not over. So we can do that and then that and then hope they can't block out of this. And they couldn't. All right, there we go. <laughs> we'll take that. I mean, it worked out in our favor there. So the uh, the unwinnable matchup has been won. But I won't lie, that was really really hard. <laughs> I definitely feel like there's some different things we could have done a little bit better, especially when I had made the judge play. But, I mean, 2k counters coming in clutch and stuff like that, that helped us out. Being able to maneuver from there and, uh, yeah, just playing the, the numbers game. Is, I didn't know whether to attack, who to attack first with, which was the, the issue. But, yeah, luckily they had no counter in their hands so we'll take that win is win no matter how you get it and what a wild wacky game alrighty we're going up uh, we got some more Yamato action so draw done we have our stage off the rip which is nice so we can throw that and then grab I guess this and one of our judges at, at the bottom of the deck so we're, we're not getting that judge we'll have to see where everything else goes I guess but we'll see how things go. I think going first against uh, Yamato is the better of the options. Just because uh, of what you can do and what you can't do. And so, Because putting them at four either means they got to commit to attacking a bunch or like, like not. Like if they want to play anything. So okay, all that, which is think pretty big and thankfully we have this so we can go into that and depending on what they do should I make I'm gonna make the play to block here because we have this coming so seven on five do how many cards do they got this and that all right um we're going to play this first off, do this, into that, and get our cards back, which is beautiful because I can trash that. We'll grab another one in case it gets like KO'd, I guess. And I kind of want to bait them into the law play for next turn. So let's attack them 7 on 5. Alright, and then I'm going to attack them 6 on 5. Alright, because if I get them to use this again, it's kind of fine, because then they'll be there, and we'll see. So they got two, 
Eight on five. No. I can do this. This and that. Because again, all their cards are like, if we can, if you stay above three, their ability and uh, their other yellow cards and stuff like the life triggers are useless. Like they can't get the trigger. Alright. So draw that. Hmm. So I don't want to go about this. Because I could do this. But they're also at 7. So let's do this. Trash two of their cards. Which is uh, pretty cool. Get them down to 5. And then I'll attack them. 6 on 5. So what do we get rid of? Yamato and uh, two Yamatos? No. That and that. Okay. Well, that's a bit annoying. But I'll deploy this. Draw two. Trash two. I'll trash. Well, I guess both of these. Um. <laughs> have them at two. So they're gonna be at six. I'll just attack this five and zero. All right. Cause yeah, next turn. Trash one life or give them one life. All right, they can have one. So what should I do here? I'll block it. We're going to be uh, just super annoying. Alright, so now uh, this is where we uh, kind of make some plays. So I have this. I have this coming in. So I'll lead off with one seven on five. Alright, and then do a, a five on five. Alright. They got another one of these? Okay, well, that's ass, but whatever. Do this into this, into... onto that, and then... Trash one. Try to grab something. We'll grab this. And... I'll attack him eight on five. Wow, okay. Well, that's lucky for them. <laughs> they're they're getting absolutely clutch life triggers. Two Capones and Onami. Man, dude, playing against yellow is just the, the worst sometimes. Alright, well, and they have another Yamato. Like, we trashed one, and they got another one. So, six on six. Um, no... I'll block it, and then that way they only can attack with one. And so, okay. But I mean, they have no blockers, so it's not over. Like, if they can't block out of a nine. And so I'll attack him nine on five. Okay, so that does that, which is alright. Um. Hmm. Grab this. To do that. And then who's in my trash? I bring out another Red Ranger here. And so I'll deploy, use card action, trash this to grab this. Deploy this. Minus the one. Bring him in. Out of that. Gives me another one of these. And I'll attack them five and five. See what they do. Alright, they take the hit. So they get like another Capone somehow. Or well, they get Amaru. Um, hmm. Well then, let me just attack this 7 on 6. Alright. So we'll go from there. 
a bit annoying, but again, what can you do about it, you know? So, 9 on 7. That's fine. Because, again, I'm going to be at this. So I can I can just load up on uh, these and stuff, too. So, 9 on 7. That's all right. This is, uh... Okay. Six on five. Okay. Interesting. So I have eight. Alright, well this is like perfect. The the heart of the cards pull here. Um I'll just attack them five on five. We'll see what they do. Alright. That's fine. Because I have everybody in here, pretty much, right? We have green to block. And all that. I guess I should have just went for the game there. But I have three. So. Turn one. Trash two. Bring that in. Bring this in. This in. And this in. So we got everybody big chilling here. Uh, start with this. Bring this in. KO that. Um, we'll do this, bring this in, get two more cards there, bring this in, do this, on him there, and then bang, on this here. So I pretty much got him, kind of locked up here, stack that 7 on 7, and alright, now there's uh, yeah, nothing they can do, <laughs> we, we kind of got him in the stranglehold. We'll just do that, and yeah. They were gonna <laughs> try to drop Zoro. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that was like, perfect game. I'm not gonna lie, that was really, really fun. And yeah, obviously we got the little heart of the cards moment there with Judge. Which I uh, did not expect to draw there, but when you go through most of your deck with your, your draw abilities, you at least have a chance to get some repeats there. And yeah, obviously we took away most of the stuff, even though they got the bailout. I was trying to play against like them getting these life triggers, like uh, the three if your opponent is at three or less. And also too, if you're able to stay at four, the best you can against them, they can't use their their main uh, ability to like boost any of their characters. But obviously though, that's very hard to do if you don't get a setup to do that. But yeah, things worked out for us, and we'll take that. Love, uh, again, this is like a tough, <laughs> really hard matchup. So being able to, to win and kind of get everything like perfect is pretty cool. Alrighty, we got some uh, Katakuri action. Let's see how this goes. They're dropping their search, and we'll drop this. Trash that. Oh, absolutely massive. Off the, off the rip there. And... You know what? Let's just do this. <laughs> we have two. We can grab that. Oh man, I can grab another one. <laughs> Alright, well it looks like uh, the Red Ranger is going to be shining in this. So they're attacking 9 on 5. That's alright. We get that. Okay. So I'm going to... Sleet off. Let's attack them 5 on 5 first off. See what they do. Alright, they block out of that, which is fine. Minus one, bring in this, do that, and then attack them. Seven on five. And let's see. Okay, they take that, and then do that. Grab. I don't need, a, I have two, so I don't need another one. Let's grab this just for uh, the potential future because we have two laws I could play as well like if they get above if we get them a seven I want to drop law just to kind of cripple what they've got but we'll see they have five okay so 11 on seven if I block out of that two eleven all right we can make that work so two, that, and, 
and we'll do that. If that's uh, if that's how they're gonna play it. So let me throw this down. Okay, cool. We get that. Oh, well, that's with the. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can catch him. Attack him seven on five. No life trigger. Go to seven. So I can drop wall. <laughs> they got something. They're thinking about it. Alright, they didn't do it. Here we go. All right, we got rid of Cracker and the Reject, which is pretty nice. I'll attack him six on five. All right, they block that. Okay, so we have Law out. They're attacking me five on five. Um, no, I'll just do that. It was seven, they're gonna drop the seven bomb. All right, sure they can have one. So we got the the line up here and I'm gonna be at six so I can do this and this all right so there we go with that and I can trash this man pull another one of these which is pretty pretty nice pretty chill leaves us with that so we'll tack them seven on five lead things off soon they're gonna take the life which is all right so they do that and I'm going to attack him 5 on 5. Okay, so they do that. And let's drop our man here. Drop one down. Do that. Do a sound in there, I guess. We'll attack him again 7 on 5. Alright, so they do that. And then we can play this. Turn 1. Do that. Get our 2 cards. We have 2 queens, so I can play queen. Next turn, if need be. Which is pretty big. Um... In this situation, what if I just la launch one with Law? Nah. I want to keep one of these guys up. And so they're going to be at 9. And so... Yeah, if I keep both of them up, that'd be great. Because I have this. So I can sack one queen if uh, we need to. They're attacking me just directly 8 on 5. Uh, sure. Use that and grab a card. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. They can have another. And then eight on five. We'll do. No, this, this, and that. Alrighty. So, how do we want to go about all this? I have six. So if I, hmm, let's drop this and see what we can yoink. Okay, I was hoping to yoink a, a another red ranger, but I do have judge, so I could drop judge next turn. So I'll grab that for right now. That leaves me with five. So if I drop queen. That means I can't KO this, though, which I would like to. Hmm. Oh, let me launch one, seven, and five. Let's see what they do. So they drop ten, Mom. They can attack one, two, three. And I can block out of... We block one, and then they hit one, and then I can block that. But if I can get rid of, well, I don't know what they do. Be interesting. So I have five. Let's just attack them five and five. All right, so they do that, which is all right. Because I'm at six. If I make the queen play, then we might be chilling, like regardless. Because then I could drop this next turn if I get them down. Which I think is uh, the better move. So I'll attack them again. Seven on five. 
Alright, unless they get some shenanigans like that. That sucks. Attack him 5 on 5. They block that. So deploy queen. Use a card action. Do that. Select one card to trash. <coughs> trash that. Get that. Um, let's do this. Try to grab... Yeah, just grab this for right now. And end our turn. So now if they drop 10 mom, we're okay. And I have stuff to... We have two blockers. So they're just attacking 5 on 5. So I go no. And counter out of with this. Okay. I'm totally okay with that. 6 on 5. No. We do that. Uh, 8 on 5. Well, if I go for game next turn. No. Yeah, we take that. Because I'm going to have 7 Don, and if we have a full board here, we're looking okay. Because so I have both of these, so. They better hope they get some big life triggers, not going to lie. No, and this, and that. All right, so uh, yeah, we're kind of chilling. It's like a card of trash. Let me see if I can grab a Red Ranger. I can't, but it is what it is. We'll attack them seven on five. Okay, so there's one. Attacking him seven on five. All right. Attack them again seven on five. All right, and then I'll attack him. Seven on five again. Okay. Um. Well, I'll just do this for fun. Yeah. Nothing uh, they could do there. Obviously, got them into the situation. Because when you expect Big Mom is coming, if you can put them in a spot where they drop it, and yeah, they get a life, but you put them in the spot where they drop it, they lose. And based on just getting everything set up, obviously two Red Rangers is very, very strong. But I don't know. This. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this deck uh, matches up really, really good against yellow. I feel like, I, I, except for like the green yellow Yamato, I feel like I consistently can beat uh, Katakuri and Eno with it. It's just the. I don't know. It feels good. <laughs> Like, you can beat anybody with this deck, but you can lose to anybody with this deck based on how things go, you know? Then that's, uh, that's what I, it's kind of, it's very fun. Like, when, you, when you're hitting with this, you're hitting with this, and it's great. But, uh, yeah, it's just how it goes so far, and I'm enjoying it, though. Alrighty, we got, uh, we got the wacky little mirror matchup. So, let's see how this goes. Um, well, this is terrible. Not ideal. <laughs> But I at least have him, so we can do with that. But uh, they got their stage set up, so. All right, and then another stage. Trash and Kaya. All right. So seven on five. Um, okay, well. All right, well, we at least got this. So that's kind of big. So let me attack them five on five. All right, and then we just got to, so they're at, what, three? Got to pounce. Got to go for it. So we got it early. Okay. Because they're going to be at five, so if they drop this guy, they won't get the, they won't be able to use him. They won't be able to use their Red Ranger. So that's why I did that. Yeah, because they're at four, I'm at three. So they don't get to use him. So six on five, uh, no, and I'll do this and that. All right, and we get another one. Okay, we're kind of we're kind of cooking here. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, so seven on five. Let's see what they do. All right, so they block out of that, which is fine. And then I'll attack them six on five. All right, because I'm at four and they're at four. We will 
Well, what are they at? Okay. I was looking to maybe make the, the law play. So we got another one. Minus the one. Play from hand. It'll do that. And attack them again, seven on five. See uh Alright, so they're blackout, which is fine. So they're at six. I'm at four. So again, we're chilling off anyone when they play. So they can't take advantage of, the, of their abilities. And so, no matter kind of what they do here, we should be alright. Like, they can't even use the. Uh, yeah, they can't use anybody. <laughs> That's how the mirror goes. If you just kind of pay attention to the Don and get yourself. Uh, like get them out of range and you should be able to to do it but also I mean getting getting two red, red rangers two Ichijis like off the rip and we have another one in here <laughs> dude uh, like alright well, that was unfortunate for them like literally nothing you can do when your opponent gets like gets this but yeah overall though regardless of this if you play the mirror I'd say do your best to just get, if you get lower down than them, then they can't use any of their abilities and you can just kind of trap them, which I think is pretty good. But yeah, quick, uh, quick mirror win. Alrighty, we got a interesting one against Queen. We'll see how this goes. If I can get the, the Red Ranger, we're big chilling. So let me do this, throw that, grab a, uh, all right, clutch there, and then drop a Kaya. And we'll trash both of those. Okay. So that's good. So we have this set up. So we have green. One piece of green. We just need one red. And we'll be big chilling. So they're attacking five on five. Um, okay with that for now. Okay, we get another stage which we don't really need. We throw down a blocker. Alright, let me do this. Alright, that doesn't really help. We'll throw this down. Um, yeah, I grab that, I guess. So that puts me there. I drop, throw down Kaya, draw two trash two. I'll trash this and, hmm, it's this for now. So that leaves me with two. All right, and then let's attack them five on five. All right, they block that. Let's throw this down. Bang. One. Get that. All right, clutch. We grab that. All right, so now we can get things a bit moving here. And we need to fly at them. Ideally, get them down as low as possible. So we got another blocker. All right. So we'll see what they do. They get the blocker search type thing going on. But... I'll be at five, I can drop this. So they're attacking five on five. No, block that. So yeah, now we just need to keep things going for as long as possible while we can. Um, Yeah, we wanna pull as many reds as we can here. So we'll do that. Grab one out of there. Get another Kaya here, which is pretty good. So we'll attack them seven on five. They do, they take that. All right, we'll attack him five on five. Okay, so they do that. And then I'm attacking him again five on five. Let's see uh, what they do here. All right, and then I will do another search. Grab. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, hmm. Grab another one of these. Why not? Just to have security, I guess. So they're sitting at seven. So they're pretty much just trying to stall out, yeah. So they're attacking me, seven on five. No. Do this and that. These are with five, so they have another one of these. Okay, never mind. Okay. Take that. Let's then uh, make some plays here. Oh, okay. So the drop pudding. 
Well, not too big of a, a problem for us, to be honest. Well, I'm at six, so I could play... We could drop the judge next turn. Well, who's in my trash? I have one. Oh, all I have is that. Well, I have him. Hmm. <laughs> so if I go... Alright, eight on six. Okay. I'm trying to think what we can do here. Let's trash this. Okay, we grab that. So now we're now we can play everybody next turn. Which is kinda big. Because I'm at six. Okay. Let's attack them. Seven on five. Have gotten something they might have gotten something that's stinky all right they got the sanji blocker all right attack them eight on five this will be so they have to do what cost eight or higher all right so see what happens here so if your hand and life total is four or less well right now their hand and life total is not four or less all right well that sucks but it is what it is. No. Block that. All right. So we have a judge here. Let's uh do that. Grab. Hmm. Let's grab the search, I guess. All right. So how do I want to go about this? I can bring everybody here. So let me attack them five and five. Okay, so we drop a card there, which is fine. Turn one, trash two cards. We'll trash this and this. They can summon this, can summon this, summon that, and summon, summon the whole dang squad here. All right, so return one, bring our guy back, minus that down. Um, hmm. Actually, yeah, I don't even need to do that. Do this. Bring this in. Um, I forgot I could just do this. Just send that back to their hand. And then minus the one. Do this. Draw two more cards. Attack them seven on five. All right, and then attack him five on five. Because if they don't have any blockers or anything, we can kind of pull things out. Okay, I don't know why they did two, but, <laughs> but yeah, we'll see what they do here. Obviously, they can get one one life back. But it doesn't really do too much here. They have to if they don't play a blocker, we're chilling. So no block that. And then with okay, Yamato. I mean, that's fine. It's a, they have to block out of a bunch of stuff here. No. Do this and this. So don't really need the search. I'm just going to pop them for unlimited attacks. Alright, 7 on 5. Okay. Um, well, this hit's guaranteed. And then attack him again, 7 on 5. Okay, blocker Sanji. Um. Well, if I do seven on five, so I have to do this. All right. Yeah, nothing I can do with that because we have 
we got the judge action and we have all this and they only had Yamato in hand so yeah also for teaching me uh, how to do this shout out uh the uh, let me find it real quick shout out John for uh, teaching me uh, if you so your point it like disconnects or anything if you just drag uh, the cards around in your hand it reveals what they have at the end of the game which is a uh, super super helpful <laughs> again uh, I really appreciate that so yeah thank you John for for that but yeah there's us uh, dusting up on Queen obviously I don't know we were able to play for judge and we got the whole squad so yeah, like a uh, big fan of that. Good matchup again. I feel like this. I feel like Raju overall against Yellow matches up great, except for Yamato, just because Yamato does double damage, and because of their their ability with like when they get you below three, then they get to use their leader ability to attach to Resedon. Like that's when it becomes an issue. But honestly, running like the blockers. I feel pretty, I feel better about it, and yeah, things have been going good, at least today, things have been going great, but on a, I'm on a pretty solid run, but it's super up and down with this deck, because it, again, it feels like you have to be able to cycle through, for me at least, the more cards I can cycle through, the better my chances are, but also too, if you don't get that, I've, you can kind of lose anybody, and that's where it kind of becomes tough, but yeah, there is beating Queen, and yeah, they'll do it for day one, day one Rage build. Uh, thank you guys so much for yeah tuning in. Let me know what uh all builds and stuff you guys are checking out for the new set, because yeah, this is definitely one of them. I'll definitely try out some of the other new leaders and stuff too. We'll see how we can put stuff together with that, like uh like with Yamato and all them, and try to revamp some of the older decks because I know like uh there's, there's gonna be a decent amount of new cards around. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.